Hi all, it's Sarah and Colin from Alderman Rochdale Astronomy. We're just about to show you a tutorial on how to use Registax. We use Registax for planetary imaging and also for the moon. Um, it's a free software, so if you Google it online, uh, it'll take you straight to the website and you can download it. And it's a brilliant piece of software for processing your images after you've taken them. So there's um, a couple of formats that can be loaded in here. Um, you can use a video or you can use numerous uh, JPEG um, photographs that you've taken. For this example, we're going to be using a, a video and Registax is going to pull the frames out for us and it will then uh, will then stack them together to bring out the detail. So the reason that we do this is um, when you stack numerous images, it makes it a lot clearer and brings out a lot more detail. You'll see that as you go through the tutorial. So on screen at the minute, we've just selected um, the images by clicking on select at the top left there, which is shown in orange. Um, it's worth also mentioning here that if you're using a Canon um, camera, um, it won't load in a video in the format that it shoots in. Um, this video has been taken through a webcam uh, and it's an AVI. You can also load in different images in there. So it will accept TIFFs um, and J JPEGs as well. Also PNG by the looks of it. So just have a look in the menu there and find the images that you have saved and then open it or in our instance, the video. So that's now shown on screen there. And you'll notice at the top, we've got show full image selected. Um, if you unselect that, you'll find that it's too zoomed in for what we need. So we're just gonna select that. And then if you look towards the left, we need to click set align points. And that's selected lots of align points. So we are just gonna move the slider across a bit there and select 392, 400-ish. And then we're going to select a line in the top menu. And you'll see that there's a progress bar towards the bottom left showing you the progress. And also towards the right hand side on the bottom, you can also see the amount of time left. So you can see there um, that it's moving. That's fine. We want it to do that as it's moving all the images to try and align them all. Also to mention here, we're not covering everything in this tutorial today that Registats can do. We're just showing you how we would normally process one of our moon images. So it can do lots of different things and there's lots of different options. So the best thing to do is when you've got some time, just have a play about with it and see what different settings do. But we're just keeping it simple today. So um, if you've never used it before, it's just a quick guide. So you can see there we're at 73%. It's actually quite quick compared to some other programs. So it's not too bad with uh, waiting times. And we're at 99% now. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we've still got show full image ticked at the top as well. So if you go down to the bottom left on limit setup, what we're going to tick on there is best frame percentage. And we're going to take that to 30%. So that's using the best 30% of frames because we don't want all of them using because they won't all be um, as, as good as um, the rest. So it's just the best 30 then at the top left, we're going to click on limit. And then we're going to click on stack. So again, you've got your progress bar at the bottom. And you can see also the amount of images that have been stacked, which is 78. And that's in the middle of the bottom bar. So you can see now it's actually quite quick. It's going through the um, percentage completed quite quickly. So what it's doing here is it's stacking the 78 images um, on top of um, one another. And it's going to bring us out one final image. And there's the final image on screen now. And again, just click on show full image so you can see the whole image that you're dealing with. And then at the top left menu, we're going to select wavelets. This is where we're going to bring out the details. So if you notice, we haven't got much detail showing. Uh, it's not very clear at the moment. 
And then what you need to do is click on show processing area and you can see it's put some small um, lines onto the picture. That's showing you the box where you will bring up a view, a close view of the moon. So if you left click on that, you can move the box about the screen. What you'll see in a second is it's going to bring up a zoomed area in a smaller box and you're just selecting um, where you want that to be shown. So to the right under the functions menu, you can see view zoomed. Um, what you need to do is hold down control and then move your mouse about the image to where you want to focus on. And then once you're happy with that, we're going to move on to the wavelets, which are at the left hand side. It's trial and error with these. It depends on personal preference, how you want your final image to look. Um, you'll find um, there are six layers there. The sixth one is normally bringing out the larger details and the first one is for the finer details. So if we drag that up, you can clearly see the changes that have been made in the box that we've placed on the larger picture of the moon and also on the zoomed version. So keep your eye on both of those and then make the changes that you feel necessary. Again, this isn't um, a final process for us. We're just quickly showing you what each um, of those layers does. Also worth noting, once you're happy with um, the changes that you've made there, you can also click Save Scheme in the bottom right hand side of that menu there. And you can save that as a preset. So next time you come to process a lunar image, you could select the scheme and you could load it in and it will remember all of those settings. So we're happy with the changes we've made there. So what we're going to do now is select do all and that will then make the changes across the whole image. So there you go. You can see them coming out now, um, really making the details pop out there, a much clearer and crisper image um, showing all the details. So the only thing we'd need to do then would be to save the image. There is also just to know a contrast, contrast and brightness menu to the right hand side uh, or you could just save the image and then do some further processing in a different software. Um, there are save options on there, different formats that you can use. We're going to save this as a JPEG um, and then obviously just rename it. And then we're just going to save it. And that's how to process using Registacks.